Hello guys, what's up? This is Game Nation Audio here for the Pi Game Tutorial video. In this video, I will show you the thing we are going to build at the end of this tutorial, and my progression on it, and an introduction of uh, to the uh, idea of sprites in Pi Game. So, let me show you what this app does. I have written this over the week, and it's just a um very basic basic game that you collect coins and game points I ha and I have released it at my um, pastebin page so let's go ahead and run it's the basic WASD controls and now I have made my own coin here and I can go ahead and collect coins like this and it has collision detection as you can see and I cannot go through the walls and yes yeah, so points are written here if you can't see that the other problem is the, the hitbox of this ball is a li little big so it doesn't actually touch as you can see it doesn't touch there so it gives you the point a little early but indeed this works so this is the thing we're going to we're going to um go for it's pretty simple and you can add like different walls and timers and you have to reach the puzzle or the coin and I don't know you can go create a this is game development so so how I do this well you cannot just go ahead and encode this into the game without using sprites sprites are built-in game objects that Pygame provides you with um, their, their classes and you just implement them and so like this is a sprite and you give this an image you give this a collision box and you can detect, detect collisions with this ball and this coin with the walls and the ball and all that good stuff so I'm just going to go through the code real quick and we have 4G points and I know it's very boring okay so let's go to the code now here we start our sprite classes for every sprite in your game you have to create you have to create a sprite class and the, th the things are in it is, are very simple um, you define what you're going to use here and for example in my wall class I define a color an x and y coordinate and a width and a height so and all I do is create rectangles using these and it gives me a sprite named whatever I want so and here's the same thing for player I have an image file for that and same thing as the coin and for the player as you know we use the blue ball and for the um, coin I use my coin image that I have created. So after this, we initiate initiate Pi Game, of course, and then go down here. There's some other stuff that um gets written here, and I set the player dimension to player dot get width. It's a built-in function in Pi Game, and I use that over here, and I'll show you that as well. Now here I create my um, groups. Now groups are a fundamental part of sprites because your graphic processor is not going to render sprites. It's going to render a group of sprites so that it's a little bit more efficient. And what you do is create groups named, for example, I named this group walls, players, coins, and all sprites is, is going to be another group and this is actually optional but I prefer doing this it's pretty efficient time in my opinion so I had I create four walls and the walls you had you see here as you can see we have four walls here okay and I create those four walls with the correct width width and height and the width and the height I read written here are the width and the height of the screen. So I just use some little trickery there. 
and then what I do is I add actually these these sprites to my group so walls dot add wall one wall two wall three wall four I create the player it's going to be a player and it's going to have the image I'm going I'm passing in this image and I add all of those in and I finally put all my sprites in all sprites uh, group so after this we can start our we can start our um, loop first we have gone through this as well but what I do is I create collide lists and this is basically for collision detection what I do is name equals pygame dot sprite dot sprite collide any and in parentheses I enter wall one players so what this does is it detects if wall one is interacting with any of the players and this player is of course the group we have defined right here um no not there here and this checks for the interaction between coin and players and now we start our loop this is WASD movement and the way the list on um, these works is pretty interesting I'm surprised that they don't do like oh they are colliding so I'm going to return one. Oh, they're not colliding so I'm just going to return a zero no they are not they don't work that way they actually work with very interesting string stuff and if there is no collision it just says none so I do if it's not equal to none which means there's a collision and uh, I move my y coordinate to zero, which is since this is the um, this checks with wall one and players, and wall one is the one on top. So I move my y coordinate to zero and add up to it. So that's pretty straightforward. And other and if there's no collision else, just do my normal movement. And I set my player.rec.x to this x coordination and my rec.y to this y um, coordinate so and then I put my background so the kill switch um, <laughs> kill switch is um, there's a coin offset that the um, that the wait do I need this? I don't think I need this okay just forget about this now we have if collide list 5 does not equal to none. So if there's a collision between the player and the coin, I increase the points by 1. And what I do is generate a new coin in the screen with these offsets. And I draw everything at the final. So this was the overview and a little sneak peek of what are we going to do with the um with our with our Pi game application. So, yeah, I will see you in the next Pi game tutorial video, guys. Bye.